I'm sorry about that, man. Mook messed up my blog like he always do. Back to what I was saying, man. Jeezy and Tay Rock situation, man. Now, Jeezy, a member of the Dot Mob crew, but not the rapping branch part, the street branch part. Okay? Uh, Tay Rock, Mook, Mook disrespected Tay Rock on national TV in front of the whole battle rap community. Tay Rock shot back at him. Tay Rock felt offended by the situation, especially seeing that Mook's supposed to be one of the leaders in Dot Mob and to speak out against him when he'd been holding a banner, 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 and uh, 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 for the past four or five years, man, when Mook been inactive. He'd been holding it down for four or five years, years, uh, Br uh, uh, bringing light to it, holding it up when Rex, Rex sabotaged it, Mook messed it up. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, Tay Rock came out on Instagram after Mook disrespected him on national TV, and Tay Rock let it be known. My after the day, my dot my uh, my dot my flag is burnt. Jeezy took it upon himself to say he was mad at Tay Rock for saying he burning the dot mob flag. He didn't say that, Jeezy. You took that brother's words out of context. But whatever motive and agenda you have, that's something personal. But he definitely didn't do that, man. He said, I'm burning my dot mob flag, removing himself, not talking as the whole nation like, forget dot mob, I'm burning my stuff. No, he said, I'm removing myself. And I think he should have done that. Anytime one of your leaders, that's who y'all should have been checking. Anytime the leader come out and continue to, di he disrespect everybody, man. Let's just keep it real, man. We're not going to do that. We're not going to just throw shade. We're not going to just sit here and act as though uh, these brothers like K-Shine is out of pocket, like Briz Wrong Thing is out of pocket, like Tay Rock is out of pocket. Man, that brother continued to throw these brothers up under the bus, man. And then people want to take action on the ones who, it is clout chasing. People want to take action on, on, on the ones who defending themselves. K-Shine was defending himself against Murder Mook when him and Rex got into it as a, as a result of what Murder Mook did. Tay Rock was defending himself against Murder Mook as a result of why you and him into it right now. That's bogus and out of pocket. And if we're going to call it real, let's call it real. Rock had nothing to do with him and Berg at all. He bought that man in there. Period. Because the girl said she liked it, Tay Rock, and that that was her favorite battle rapper. So he wanted to take it upon himself once again, let his pride and jealousy rise up to throw that man under the bus, knowing that he representing the team and the family. Period. Period. That's a fact. The files is out here. We kept the receipts. It's definitely out here, man. And y'all trying to now attack this brother like he was bogus for saying what he was saying. What you supposed to do if you didn't put in all this work up under this flag or umbrella and being the, one of the leaders of it come out and just slam you in front of everybody like you some little nigga and nobody cares? Come on, man. Then no. 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 No, 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 no. And bang the gavel on them clowns, man. Man, please. Get up out of here with that trash. Then you want to say... Oh, he talking about burning the flag and all that. See, like I said, man, let me tell you, son. I continue to tell you, brother, this. First of all, when you get to a certain age where you still gang banging and stuff like that, that just go to show you cats childish, man. Haven't grown up yet, still looking for acceptance and things like that. Once you become a man and you have children and you have a family, you have to leave that trash alone because it cannot bring nothing good to your life and it's going to bring stuff to your home that's unwarranted, man. And that stuff is a lot of trash because it keeps you involved in trash. If it's not your drama, it's one of their dramas. So you're always involved in drama. Brothers need to grow the hell up and stop being divided towards one another up under stupidity and foolish things like this. Because when it's all said and done, it's nothing but another form of sat Satanism and devil worshiping. That's exactly what it is. Every game. G-A-N-G, every gang that is created by a man is created to divide and murder and destroy and exploit. That's all it is. It's another tactic to tear down and destroy. You build on numbers to try to hurt other people with lesser numbers. 
That's all that's ever done. And the history of it is nothing but murder and prison. And that's all it is. And you brothers try to attack and tear down each other when the government is the biggest gangsters. But that's somebody you don't even want to dare to attempt to cause any static of friction with. But try to bring it out on each other. Brothers continue to oppress one another over stupid stuff. Going up under other men. Never. If you not God, I ain't going up under you. Period. That's what men do. Like the Bible said, when I was a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I learned to put childish things away. You brothers still operate under the mind of children and adolescents. Going up under the praise and leadership of other men. And it's benefiting you nothing. The tool and responsibility for every man is to be subjected to God only. And your family and children come first. And that's first priority above anything. And you separate them from the streets. You are to survive the streets, not to be a victim of the streets. And your own enemy is your own kind and your own inner circle that you used to laugh with, smoke with, drink with, high five with, rock with, ride with. And you see their true colors come out. Now they hate you. Now they want to hurt you. Think about that. All the five years you didn't put in with these guys, claiming them, raising them up when they was uh, uh, unfair to the whole flag. Now they want to hurt you. That ain't love. That means it never was no love. Because even if you was a part of the team, Rex saying he, he loved you, you his man. Okay, if me and him have a fallout, you go your way, I go my way. But if I ever had any type of love for you, why you want to hurt me? Why you want to knock me? Why you want to take and, and, and destroy anything that has something to do with me? When you once said you love me, when you once embraced me, you brought me in. So it's no love for Rex or it's no love for Tay Rock. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. This stuff is fake. Betrayal. It's called betrayal for a reason because it always comes from the inside. Brothers are opportunists. They wait for an opening and then they seize the moment when it's available to backstab, to hurt, to take, to betray, to, 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 to kill, to snitch. They wait for the window of opportunity, then seize the moments. They have to look in order to look. In order to get close, you have to uh, uh, allow yourself to give yourself to some degree where you embraced and bought in. Yeah, what's up, fam? It's all love. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? We all... So you win a person over. When always, when always in your mind, you know being a snake or a rat, your real true motives and intentions is to seize and overtake. Look at the history of mob. Look at the history of mob life. The ones who rise to power to become the mob leaders always whack the ones that bought them in. Always whack the ones that bought them in. Look at all the people that's incarcerated. Mostly 98% of the people that's incarcerated in jail is being set up by people who they once was kicking it with, friends with, guys with, family with. Lay down with, kiss with, broke bread with. Betrayal. The Bible said a man's enemy will come from his own household. A prophet is not welcomed in his own home. Cursed is the man who put his trust in another man. The only thing you can rely on, and it's is this fact, is your own bloodline. Because that's something that's really yours. Friends don't share your bloodline. Which means... They are an opposite of you already out the gate. The only person you really can trust, and sometimes you can't even trust them, it's your own bloodline that you gave birth to, your children. 
your children and possibly they 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 mother possibly they mother depending on how you treat and love her but the only thing you can say for certain that is yours is your own bloodline all this other stuff is substitutional and when it's a substitute it's not authentic and because it's not authentic what happens is the fakeness come out in it. And that's what you're seeing right now. Tay Rock clearly said, I'm burning my dot my flag today. He didn't say that. Then he came back and said, you know what? I may have reacted. I may have overreacted. I was caught up in my emotion. I shouldn't have said that. I take that back. But you ignore that. You ignore that. He publicly said that. <laughs> And he publicly came and, and addressed that and said, I was out of pocket for that. But I want you to understand this, Tay Rock, like I've been telling you from day one. You need to grow the hell up, man. And let me tell you what I mean by growing the hell up. You continue to show what's really you neglecting. It's home. It's home, fam. A lot of people jealous of you, brother. You've been running this game for four or five years, man. Clout chasing is the new trending era that's taking place now. People want to piggyback off your work, your blood, your sweat, and your tears at the expense of your life, your reputation, your brand. And they don't care about your wife. They don't care about your daughter. But here's the thing. You have to because that's yours. You have to because that's yours. That's why I told you from the gate. Your loyalty is to them first. You don't never pledge your loyalty to another man ever. Learn from the animal kingdom. The male species cannot get along. Alpha males cannot get along. They won't get along. They opportunists. They wait for the moment and seize the opening when it's presented to them. They opportunists. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what you're seeing happening right now. It never really was no love in the beginning, is it? When they want to hurt you now, ain't it? This stuff is lame, man. Brothers need to really wake up, and it's so damn sad to see this trend continue to just spread and become more popular and more popular when you're seeing the results of it. Brothers doing this trash running straight to the social media, internet, bragging on, I'm the one that did it. They don't even care that they finna get arrested. They don't even care that they setting themselves out. They don't even care that they snitching. They don't even care care for 15 minutes of fame, which actually got them nowhere and nothing. The things that they doing to end people's lives and destroying people forever, these brothers doing this stuff only for temporarily uh, fame and light that only lasts a couple months or a couple days, and they doing this off the expense of jeopardizing their own lives, which is permanently forever. Brother, sad as hell, man. This stuff is sad, ridiculous. And it's a prime example of how our future looks. Because these same men got children. And if you like this, you're raising your children to be just like it. Just like it. And it starts first from being God haters. That's why these brothers like that. Anytime you hate God, what happens is you hate life. If you hate God, you hate life. And you have no love at all. The word of God said God is love. If you don't know God, you don't have love. You have an idea of what you think love is, but you definitely don't know what love is. Love is patient. Love is patient. You have to learn how to be patient with one another. Love is kind. Love don't seek his own gain. You understand what I'm saying? Love don't parade and pride himself. Over the hurt and losses of others. Brothers need to really, really come to the reality check. Y'all are operating under the principles of street, street knowledge. Street knowledge. The blind lead the blind and you all fall in a ditch. What do I mean by that? The street knowledge of knowing this. You just as good as your leaders. Mostly every gang leader. Matter of fact, every last one. To some degree, if it ain't a new one that just came out. They leaders is dead or in prison for the rest of their life. And when they go, somebody else rise up to say, I'm the new leader. But it continues to repeat itself. All of their fate ends up being the same. And everybody that's a part of it 
uh, partake in the same fate. Prison, incarcerations, and jail. Period. Period. It's just a whole cesspool of nothingness going nowhere, leading a lot of brothers and sisters straight to hell forever. That's all that's going on. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to think that it's true. You don't have to agree with what I'm saying, but you can't change the fact. God is God. Whether you believe in him or not, you can't vote him out. He's not afraid of you. You can't beat him. And everything you do that he tell you not to do, you will get the consequences for it, not only in this life, but in the next life. It ain't nobody yet been able to prove him wrong. You're not going to never be able to prove him wrong. Man existence on this earth is nothing but a vapor in the wind. You talking about an almighty God who lasts forever and ever when your life existence is on only 20 years, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, 70 at the most, at the most, trying to think you're going to outsmart God, outthink God with some influence in your mind that was created by the same God haters and atheists that got y'all up under their command. Grow the hell up. Grow the hell up. Stop being so damn weak. Yes, you do stop being so damn weak. And I hate when brothers always, oh, I love my family. I die for my kids. I die for my family. Right. That's easy to say. Any fool can die. You can walk out in traffic and get hit. Anybody can die. That's easy. Live. Let me hear you say you will live for your daughters and families and sons, wives. Let me see you live for them. I die for my nigga. I never die for my niggas. You see the word? Niggas. There's a difference between niggas and black men. Which one is you? Is you a nigga, one of these ignorant, stupid, foolish dudes who only spend their life, who think enjoyment is behind a blunt and a bottle and laying up with a girl for 20 minutes? Do you operate under those principles as a nigga, a loud mouth, smart, sassy dude who think he know it all, ain't, ain't really accomplishing nothing in life under the terms of being a real nigga? Is that your definition? Or are you a man? A brother who acknowledged that God made and created you and you are shaped in the likeness and image of Jesus Christ. Made in the image and likeness of almighty God. And that at the end of your life, you will stand before the living God to give an account for your life. That moves and compels you to live a better life. To love and respect the woman that you call your own. To love and respect and be faithful to the woman who you commit yourself to and made a covenant with. To say and swear before the living God, you are always love and protect, to be there as a man, to lead by example, to be a standing person in your son or daughter's life, to see as a son the man you should grow up to be, so your daughter could see the man that she would attach herself to, seeing the life of you act out in their lives. Are you that type of black man to work and live an honest life? Not trying to get everything easily, pitching pennies and hustling and destroying and killing and tearing down your own community at the expense of you got to get it how you live because you got to feed your kids, but you don't want to go out and try and earn and educate and work. Are you that type of black man or are you that ignorant nigga? Which one are you? Which one are you? All you brothers want to be leaders. All you niggas I meant want to be leaders. Everybody want to be a boss. Everybody want to be a leader. But ain't never been up under a real, true, genuine leader to teach them how to lead. And that leadership can only come through the almighty God. Have you humbled yourself before him to learn how to lead, to learn how to direct your people, to learn how to help people live rather than giving them felonies on their back, rather than putting them in position to get killed out here at an early age, removing them from their family and children. Are you those type of leaders? Grow the hell up. Grow up. Grow up. You brothers need to stop this trash. You're trying to find an excuse and reason to hurt one another. Trying to find any excuse and reason to hurt one another just to justify to the people that you were justified in your actions. And this stuff is tragic and it's sad and it's senseless and it's weak. You need to be separated from Dot Mob, Tay Rock, period. 
But now since you the leader of Cade Gang, what example are you setting for these brothers? You talking about gang, 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 what? Teach these men how to be better fathers. But it's hard for y'all to do that because y'all ain't been up under leadership. Who are y'all leaders? Who are the guys or OGs that give y'all real, hardcore, true life lessons that you respect? That compels and moves you to want to examine your life to do better. Who is y'all accountability partners and stand-up dudes in y'all life to teach and educate y'all? That y'all listen to these brothers and respect their word and opinion. Because what I find in their age, all these leaders don't like to listen to no damn body. They just reckless and rebellious and nobody can tell them nothing. If you tell them anything that goes against what they believe or what they say, they, you hate it for it. That's what this dare error show me. Anything you say against them that you see them doing and you know that what they're doing is wrong and you're trying to show them how to turn from them things to do something better, they end up hating you. So I ain't getting this at all. But with that being said, man, what are you teaching them? Are you teaching them how to be better fathers? Are you teaching them how to live honest, productive lives? Are you teaching them how to be responsible men and husbands to the women who they claim to love, to marry those women and not just make them baby mamas, not just keep switching from one to another, steady making this problem that we trying to get up out of worse and worse than what it is? Are you teaching them that even in failure, you get back up and you change and you become more stronger and more better? And don't 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 let your failures put you in a point where you can't get out of them. Is you teaching them that? That's what real true leadership is, man. And this battle truth, it ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Jeezy, stop that trash, man. Tay Rock, you need to be your own man, but now you're responsible for a, t a click and team. Do better things, man. Stop t t trying to teach these brothers just so that they can be up under y'all. It's okay to praise gangs. God is the real true gang leader. God is the real true gang leader. And if that's who you're not getting up under, ain't nothing good going to come up out of this. And that's the battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours.